Well, unfortunately, there is still no technology to where you can actually experience smells coming through your TV because <laughs> if there was, right now you would all be getting up, would be jumping through your TV, and would be devouring what we are about to show you because let me tell you, it smells absolutely wonderful in here. Would that be called smell-o-vision? Uh, smell-o-vision, I like that. I think we should patent that and we could be extremely filthy rich. <laughs> hey, welcome to another Meals from the Field. As always, I am joined by the one, the only, the great, the legendary, Marsha Crowley. Please. Who uh, may have just made us a lot of money if we can come <laughs> up with this technology. Good to see you again. Thank you, good to see you too. Last month, of course, we were at uh, the University of Georgia. At Sanford Stadium, it's a we had a little cooler blast. today. Yes, a lot cooler today. And again, thank you everybody out there at UGA for uh, having us last month. Oh yeah, month. that was great. That was a lot of fun. We're gonna about to have a lot of fun here. And the so. recipes that you got, uh, good healthy recipes. We've got some chicken in there. We've got some Georgia peanuts. We've got some potato salad. Take it away. The stage is yours. I cannot believe we've never done a potato salad. Well, we're about to. We're about to. All right. This is two pounds of cooked. Um, red potatoes. I mm -hmm. think they make better potato salad. And this is kind of a little secret ingredient. This is three tablespoons of pickle juice that you put over the warm potatoes. Not a secret anymore. Not anymore. And what that does is it just absorbs the flavor. Okay, so we'll let those sit a minute. Then we're going to do, uh, we're going to add the a half a cup of chopped onion. And I happen to like the red onion because of the color half a cup of chopped celery. Mix those up a little bit. And then a quarter of a cup of sweet relish. You could use the not sweet if you wanted, mm -hmm. but I just happen to like this one. Could you use mean relish as you opposed to use, sweet relish? You could use mean relish, okay. yeah. <laughs> bad joke, I know. I know, I know. bad. All right, this is um, a half a cup of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and a quarter cup of buttermilk, okay. which is also a little bit different for a potato salad. And you could add some sugar to this if you don't think it's sweet enough, um, but you don't really need to unless you really like sweet potato salad. All right, you're gonna pour that over the potatoes and the vegetables. Stir that up and then you're gonna add two hard cooked eggs. And this, I make this potato salad all the time. Like I said, I cannot believe we've never done it. But it's really good. And here's the two cooked eggs. I don't think I've ever had potato salad with buttermilk. I know, isn't that different? It is. And the pickle juice, you know, over the warm potatoes really sets it off. And there is your potato salad. Of course, refrigerate until right. you're ready to eat. Yeah, you don't want anybody getting, getting sick. So. Mm -mm. This is, you just use bone in, skin on, chicken thighs. You could use breast. Personally, I think if the bone's in the chicken and the skin's on, it's much more flavorful. Okay. It's not quite as, um, it doesn't dry out as much. So I've cooked this chicken with olive oil. I've given it a 15 minute head start. Okay. The barbecue sauce is a cup and a half of your favorite barbecue sauce. This seems to be a little more on the vinegary side. Mm -hmm. You're going to add to that. That's warm quarter of a cup of peach preserves. So the type of barbecue sauce you choose is going to make a huge difference in the way, uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the secret in this is you're going to brush the chicken on all sides with the barbecue sauce. You're going to roast it for seven minutes at 400. You're going to bring it out of the oven brush it with more barbecue sauce, flip it over, um, brush it with more barbecue sauce, put it back in the oven for seven minutes. So you're going to do that three times. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to turn the oven up to 425 and put it in there again if there's any remaining sauce, put that on there. It kind of makes it not crispy but caramelizes a little bit. This is so good. Three I've times had, in and out and keep brushing and then right. turn it up. So if you were grilling this, I mean, when you grill, don't you flip and brush? Absolutely. Too? Yeah, so that's the key. All right, this is what's so good to me. These are peanut butter candy bars. Yum. So I've got in this pan a cup and a half of salted Georgia peanuts. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we're gonna, this is. They have peanuts here in Georgia? I, somebody told me that. I have to look <laughs> into that. Um, this is two tablespoons of butter and two cups of peanut butter chips that I've already melted. Okay. And the peanut butter chips are obviously with the chocolate chips. Two cups of marshmallows, mini marshmallows. Mixed all that, oops, somebody escaped. Mix all that up, add to that a can of sweetened condensed milk. I mean, how do you go wrong? You can't. You can't go wrong. So if, if you're um, affected by sugar, you probably don't want to try this particular recipe. Is that why I'm bouncing off the walls probably. right now? Because I did sneak the bar in before we started filming, so. All right, you're gonna pour, let me see if I can mix this up a little better. You're gonna pour this on top of those peanuts. And the only cooking in this recipe is heating up the peanut butter chips. And then you just spread all that out? Spread all this out. Then you're gonna put the other cup and a half of pecan, pecans, peanuts on top. Okay. Yeah, so it t calls for a total of three cups of peanuts. Put this on top. I thought we were going to you know, start mixing the whole thing together, nope. but yeah, it's, it's layered. Right, and then you're going to let this cool completely. You could put it in the fridge. You're going to cut it into little bars, if you will. And they are a hit, let me tell you. They are They're very so good. good. Like I said, and I that's had one it. myself. And there you see the finished product with that. The chewy goodness, as I like to say. And uh, of course, folks, you can make all these recipes in the comforts of your own home by logging on to farm-monitor.com. The list just continues to grow and grow. I have lost count. Uh, we try to keep everything in order as best as possible. Again, farm-monitor.com. Go on to the recipe section, click there. Everything is there for you. Anything that you need for tailgates, for uh, dinner guests, picnics, or picnics you know. anything. So um, just some great stuff. As always, Marsha, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, and we will see you next month.